Hello, everybody. This is Kelly from Nice Lady Productions. Today, I'm going to take you to the show floor of NAB 2013 and the Blackmagic Design Booth. I want to first look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, which is a long name for any camera this small. It has an active micro four-thirds mount so that you can use the electronic micro four-thirds lenses from Panasonic and other manufacturers, which is nice, but it doesn't have autofocus. Unlike their other cameras, this camera is run with buttons, so no more touch screen. The back buttons were fine, they're pretty small, and even the text, everything on this camera is small. One of my observations about the camera was the handle was hot. Now the cameras weren't recording, but they had been on for hours. So that's something that kind of made me think, is heat going to be an issue with this camera? I liked th that it had a grip on it and it was quite comfortable. It does have a focus button. When you click on it, you get peaking, which is a nice feature to have. At this point, it has no histogram. It has no audio meters. So you can see on the side of the camera, there's a lank port, which is brilliant to be able to do remote trigger. It has a headphone jack and it has a stereo in port as well as micro HDMI. I was a bit taken aback by the fact that the ports on the side of the camera are not enclosed. So if it rains on your camera or you get you go to the beach and it gets sand in the ports, I mean that would be probably a big deal. Unlike the Blackmagic Cinema cameras, the battery in this camera is removable. I noticed that the battery is an ENEL20 battery, which is a Nikon battery. The battery lasts 50 minutes. That's five zero. So 50 minutes is not a great window for each battery life. But again, the fact that the battery is actually removable is the best selling feature. Blackmagic was also showing off their new 4K production camera. I'm happy to see that Blackmagic didn't update the camera body for the people who have invested in rigs for the 2.5K camera but I'm a bit disappointed to see that they're not updating the battery capacity or the resolution or off-axis capabilities of the screen considering this camera will be acquiring 4K footage. If I had this camera, I'd be using an EVF to shoot with it for sure. By adding a global shutter to this camera, Blackmagic does away with the rolling shutter effect. As you can see here in this demonstration of whip pans, you're getting a really nice straight image and no image skew. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a toss-up because if you get this camera, you're getting Ultra HD 4K capabilities, but you're losing dynamic range. This camera comes with two dynamic range settings. There's a film log setting and a Rec. 709 setting. Let's look at both of them here. The film setting to me, of course, right off the bat, love it. Looks very Alexa-like. Do I think that this is a 4K competition camera for RED? Not really. I kind of feel like we're at the starting point with this line of cameras that's similar to where we were a few years ago with DSLRs in that they came out and they weren't fully fitted for actual production use in the same way that they could be. So there it is, my first impressions on the Blackmagic Pocket camera and 4K camera. I have no doubt that either of these cameras are going to shoot a beautiful image. It's just a matter of, are they the right camera for you? Take care.